friend hit his daughter and broke her rib. I'm absolutely furious right now. My friend has a daughter who is also in my 7th grade history class. She is the nicest kid in the world and one of the best students in any of my classes. However, this morning she came into my class late and was not herself. Normally, she is raising her hand and engaging with the class, but she had her hoodie up and her head down. She was holding her arm to the side and looked to be in pain. Halfway through class, I walked by her desk to check on her and she looked up at me and had tears in her eyes. I brought her outside my classroom and asked her what was wrong, but she was not responding, but she started crying even more. After a couple of more minutes of reassurance, she finally opened up. She woke up late for school and accidentally dropped a glass of water when she was getting ready. My friend, who was her father, punched her twice in the ribs and yelled at her for being clumsy. I asked her if she was hurt and she pulled her hoodie up and her ribs were beginning to bruise. My friend is 6'4 and over 200 pounds. My student is 12 years old and cannot be more than 85 pounds. I asked my colleague in the next class to watch over my class to watch over my class and I took her to the health office where her mother picked her up. When she saw her daughter sitting in pain, she nearly burned the office down. She started cursing my friend's name and said this was the last straw for her. She asked me not to file a report, but I told her I was required to as I was shown evidence of abuse and her daughter used the word abuse, which she begrudgingly understood. I am so mad right now. My friend has always had a short temper, but hitting your child because she dropped a glass is beyond disgusting. My student's mother texted me at noon and said her daughter broke a rib and is going to be out of class until Wednesday. I feel awful for my student. She is such a bright student and is well liked by her peers and now she is having trouble breathing because her father cannot act like an adult. I am ending my friendship with this man. He has been getting on my nerves for a while, but I will be damned if I am friends with someone who hits their child. I don't get it. How are people so energetic in school at like 8 a.m. in the morning? I would be barely awake and they'll be there screaming their heads off and laughing at the top of their voices. How? Like, are you not tired? This is definitely not aimed to anyone who friend requests me. You know when you're just playing Roblox on your phone or your iPad? You're playing Tower of Hell and you're doing really good. You're the highest in the tower, you haven't died yet, and everyone is dying behind you. So you're just like happy and chilling. Until you get a stupid damn friend request. I'm just raging thinking about it. But that damn friend request is just covering the jump button. And you thought you were going to jump, but instead you press decline. And then you fall. Or you die. I mean, why can't the friend requests come at the top, not in front of the jump button? I just don't want to die when I'm in first place. When we talk about the injustice and inequity of this, you know when you drop a plate, but nothing chips, your mom goes like, Oh my god, Lydia, that was my favorite plate. How dare you step away? Literally shouting about nothing. But when she drops something and it smashes into pieces, she goes like, Oh, oopsies. <laughs> it was an accident. I'll just, you know, clean this up. Um, what? This is not fair. Oh, and some people think that I hate my parents because of these videos, but they're not that serious. I love them. Now when you've just gone in your phone and it's like your first time on it today, then your dad walks in. When they see you, they're always like, ugh, kids these days. Always on the computers, you know? Back in my days, we actually socialized and talked to each other. Ugh, wish kids still did that nowadays. You guys are always inside on social media, like that chat snap thing and talk talk. This generation is horrible. <sighs> well, maybe Dave. Just maybe. You guys talked to each other and went outside because you had no technology and social media. Yeah, you're such an old caveman. Oh, and we do socialize. We just socialize differently to you because there's this thing called evolving. Yeah, Dave, suck on that.